punch, man. De Niro, I like to slap. <laughs> well, I'd like to punch him in the face. Jory Merlino strikes again. The now famous YouTuber and podcast host has now made comments about another victim. Now, this time, is against Hollywood legendary actor Robert De Niro. Previously, Jory Merlino has no problem making comments about public figures he does not like, including mobsters such as Salvatore Samuel the Bull Gravano, Michael Franzese, which he likes to label them as rats because of their cooperation with law enforcement. And anyone who was friends or associates of either one of these parties, he will rebuke them. For example, he's already criticized actor Chaz Palminteri. Chaz Palminteri, as we described in previous videos, that he is friends with Michael Franzese. Michael Franzese and Chaz Palminteri have their own podcast, one for each that, has, that bears their name, and their own podcast they have together called The Wise and the Wise Guy. Therefore, Chaz Palminteri has fallen victimhood to Joy Marlino's comment, such as calling him a rat since he's associated with them. Even though Chaz Palminteri is not involved with any mafia, kosher nostra whatsoever, he has been friends with Michael Francis, and therefore he has been a target against Marlino. Now, this time, he's approaching another actor, and that is Robert De Niro, which we will talk about right now. As you can see on this Reddit website, many people are also concerned, why would Joey Molina have problems with the actor? Many people are speculating, as you can see, is because of their political views. For instance, Robert De Niro has been publicly vocal about not being a Trump supporter, and he's also made this video before Donald Trump had won his election in the year of the 2016 election. As you can see here. I mean, he's so blatantly stupid. He's a punk. He's a dog. He's a pig. He's a con, a bullshit artist, a mutt who doesn't know what he's talking about, doesn't do his homework, doesn't care, thinks he's gaming society, doesn't pay his taxes. He's an idiot, Colin Powell said it best. He's a national disaster. He's an embarrassment to this country. It makes me so angry that this country has gotten to this point, that this fool, this bozo, has wound up where he has. He talks how he wants to punch people in the face. Well, I'd like to punch him in the face. This is somebody that we want for president? I don't think so. What I care about is the direction of this country. And what I'm very, very worried about is that it might go in the wrong direction with someone like Donald Trump. If you care about your future, vote for it. So as you can see, before Donald Trump became president of the United States, Robert De Niro has already rebuked him publicly and has no problem doing so. And as a result of that, Joey Molino himself has made similar comments with Robert De Niro, as you can see here. You want to challenge to a celebrity boxing match, man. De Niro, I like to slap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that motherfucker. Yeah. I like to give him a fucking slap. Yeah. Honestly, you got hands, man. No, I can fight. Three one-minute rounds, man. <laughs> now, as you saw in the video, Robert De Niro said he would like to punch Donald Trump in the face, and then Joey Merlino wants to slap Robert De Niro. If you want to see the full video, you would have to go on Joey Merlino's podcast and subscribe to his Patreon to get the full extent of the video. We can only show you to what he has allowed publicly on these shorts. Because if you watch the YouTube video, you can see that the video has been criticized. It is episode 30 about Joey Merlino making comments about Robert De Niro. On that episode, you can see the comment section below shows that people thought it was clickbait. Also, people, he doesn't mention De Niro at all in that video, but it does have a guest, and there's more content to be seen if you subscribe to the Patreon channel. Joey Merlino has been very vocal about being a Donald Trump supporter, and because of him being a convicted felon, he cannot vote for Donald Trump, but he's been very vocal about any attacks on Trump and showed his full support in this regard, and therefore he's made content in support of his position. Well, uh, speaking of Biden in 2023, you actually had a photograph with Trump. 
Yeah. What well, they said, I fixed the election. Did you see that? No, I did not see that. Yeah. And, and to, <laughs> they said, I fixed, I made Biden win in Philly. I made $3 million. It was in some paper in Buffalo. Said I made $3 million and I made Biden win. F Biden. I don't even like Biden. I won't vote. I can't even vote anyway, but I, I love Trump. I'm a Trump guy. There was an article in the Philly Inquirer that basically said with that picture with Trump, he said Trump didn't know who you were. He didn't. The guy took pictures with 400 people. He t he, listen, he's a gentleman. He takes pictures with everybody. Anybody went up and took a picture with him. And I went up and I took a picture with him. And that became a big thing. Joy Molino had released his first episode called Joy Molino Talks Donald Trump Election Fraud and NFL Gambling on September 13, 2023, where you can see him and the former president of the United States posing together for a picture. And however, that photo had was circulating online and went so viral that it created many false rumors about President Trump knowing Molino's past criminal history. However, many people thought Joe Merlino fixed the election in support of Joe Biden in the 2016 election, which Merlino in the first episode rebukes, vehemently condemns that type of remark and has been very vocal about his feelings and his support for Donald Trump. He passionately despises Joe Biden and has been very vocal for supporting the former president of the United States and hope he wins the election for this year in the year of 2024. There have been also articles, did Joey Merlino and Robert De Niro ever met? You can see in this website, there have been certain articles that existed that those two have ever encountered one another. However, the video is not available. In the comments below, you can also send us some source or links that we can help to make another part two to this video if that ever occurs. As you can see in the previous videos, what do you think? Chaz Palminteri has not made any comments, nor has De Niro. Do you think they will respond or what do you think in the comments below? Please let us know what you think and we hope you enjoy our content. Feel the vibe. We hope you subscribe and we hope you see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on what we should do next in the comments. This is Infinite Lee Productions. We love ya.